My beloved child, open your ears and listen attentively as I, your Lord God, speak directly to you. I am ever faithful, never failing to fulfill every promise I make. When I pledge my word, it is as solid as stone, and when I vow to bless you, no force in heaven or earth can prevent it from coming to pass. The desires of your heart that you have longed and waited for with great patience are about to transition from mere hopes into concrete realities. As I look upon you now, steadfast in your faith even amid a world full of complaints and lamentations, I want to assure you beyond all doubt that the blessing you have been anticipating is racing toward you at this very moment. You can take my word as fact that you will soon be holding that very blessing in your hands once and for all, bidding farewell to all worry, distress, and anxiety. You have chosen to put your complete trust in what I have spoken, and from the first instant your voice cried out to me. From the moment your heart poured out its deepest longings, I set events in motion to provide you the exact answer that your soul was craving. Many lose heart as they wait expectantly for their prayers to be answered. They grow impatient with me and my timing. But my ways and thoughts are far above yours, my child. I specialize in working profound transformations in people's lives, molding their character with masterful wisdom and ordering every detail to ensure that the blessings I bestow do not become unwanted burdens. When you simply request what you believe you need from me, Rest assured that I am the kind of God who delights in lavishing you with far more than what you ask for. I keep your future well-being in view, as well as that of your family. My desire is that the blessings I pour out on you will usher in not sorrow, hardship, or conflict, but rather cascading waves of peace and joy without limits. Our covenant bond is etched indelibly upon your mind and heart. Your sins are wiped away, forgotten forever. So come and find your rest in my presence. Here at my altar you will discover healing for your soul, limitless strength for each new day, and the full fruit of your faith as you wait with patience for my promises to blossom before your eyes. Banish all bitter complaints from your heart and cast off doubt from your mind. Pay no heed to scoffers and mockers who deride your faith. When weariness creeps up on you and anxious thoughts return, call out to me and I will impart fresh perseverance and endurance to your spirit. I will endow you afresh with the gift of patience, ensuring your emotions remain untroubled and serene. You will receive a special measure of heavenly prudence to control that unruly tongue of yours so no foolish or rash words emerge from your lips that would grieve my spirit. I shower blessings upon your life with profound tenderness and affection, like a loving father or mother nurtures their precious child. All I ask in return is that you remain thankful and never dare presume to demand anything from me, out of arrogance or pride. This world is filled with those who dishonor and disrespect me, yet I meet them with great patience and pursue them with unconditional love. I know you have grown deeply frustrated because circumstances often fail to unfold according to your plans and expectations. But this is simply the nature of things, my child. You pray, I respond. You take action, opposition arises. Conflict and adversity suddenly assail you from every side. Obstacles block the way making it appear that my responses are delayed. Yet if I open your spiritual eyes, you would see clearly that the realities before you are far different than you suppose. The blessings you long for are directly within your grasp, merely waiting to be seized at the appointed time. But in order to lay hold of them, you must press forward without looking back or wavering, discarding every attitude or emotion that threatens to leave you paralyzed and stationary. You see, if you truly desire to be blessed, then testing and trials must come first in order to prove the true metal of your character. I am watching closely to see how you will react when situations fail to meet your expectations. What words will proceed from your mouth? 
Will you persist in your waiting with resilient joy in your heart, without inserting a single complaint? Or will the acid of bitterness begin seeping in, stealing your precious time and effort as it has with so many others? I want to see rock-solid steadfastness demonstrated in your life, a spirit of fierce loyalty and dedication to me, even when I seem silent and you are forced to wait indefinitely. I am forging within you a strength of character more valuable than purest gold. What I prize above all is your unwavering devotion and trust. I want your absolute allegiance, proven by actions and not mere words. You will not betray me when times get difficult, nor will you sell out your spiritual convictions for a paltry sum. You will not stoop to dishonest actions or thinly veiled lies in order to escape trouble for victories attained by such means are hollow indeed. As you wait with resolute faith and undiminished confidence, the blessings you long for will surely manifest at the proper time. So do not allow gnawing doubts to freeze and paralysis your patience, and pay no heed to the scornful opinions of unbelievers who mock your faith. Hear now my earnest appeal, spoken to you in deepest love. Take my words and store them up in your heart like prized treasure. Return here daily and fill up on the truths I am imparting, which will nourish your faith and surround your mind with my peace. Have no fear, for I love you with an everlasting love. The awaited blessing rushes toward you even now. So speak these words aloud with conviction both in your voice and actions. Beloved God, with all my heart I wait eagerly for you. My precious one, I am your heavenly father, your dearest friend and companion, your good shepherd who leads and guides you. If up till now you have never realized I existed, allow me to introduce myself properly at last. I knew you and set my affection upon you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I planted deep within your soul that persistent sense of destiny and purpose that drives you onward. I am the living presence of love that fills your world and showers boundless mercy upon you each moment. I am love itself. I am tenderness. I am peace that transcends understanding. I am the way, the truth, the light that illuminates your path even in the midst of confusion and darkness. This day shall burst forth with miracles as my words ignite living faith and confidence inside you. Beside you always stands my Holy Spirit, guiding your steps and perfectly orchestrating every detail of your life according to my gracious purposes. Open wide your inward being to welcome the precious promises I have embedded deeply in your spirit, ready to rise up within you whenever urgent need demands. The gateway is open wide to all the riches of my grace and mercy welcoming you to draw near without any fear of being rejected. So come with boldness and assurance into this realm of power and transformation. Here you will discover healing for the lingering wounds and secret pains that scar your past. The destructive chains of guilt and regret that once gripped you relent their hold this day, once and for all. I absolve you completely of each fault and failure and obliterate all record of sin from before my face. So refuse to be troubled or forfeit your peace any longer. Where past errors can still be corrected, have a humble willingness to apologize, seek forgiveness, repay debts and purify your legacy through restitution. If others remain locked behind walls of bitterness, denying you any chance to make amends, then release that burden to me. For my blood has cleansed you white as snow, and my declaration of forgiveness stands forever over your life. Break away from stagnancy and leave behind those who refuse to reconcile. Now, take a deep breath and surrender completely to me. Every source of pain, every negative memory, phantom voices from the past that keep you emotionally entangled. Release each thought, word, action or event that you have obsessed over for too long. Be set free even from recent wounds and offenses, for I will surely transform these evil seeds into redemptive outcomes, full of meaning and virtue. Watch now as I demolish and smash to pieces 
Every chain that has held your soul captive to anxiety, anger, pride, lust, hatred, addiction, greed, anything that imprisons you still. And in place of your bondage, I now plant my living word inside, which will grow and produce an abundant harvest of peace, joy, and righteousness. My grace will flood the barren places of your heart until blessings are all that remain flowing from your life. Enveloped completely in my mercy and transformed by goodness itself, you will enter the realm of the Spirit and discover wonders beyond imagination. This day, the shackles that have too long restricted the flow of my spirit are decisively shattered. I am breathing new life into worn-out places depleted of hope and vision. Anger that has festered for years will be supernaturally quelled and fury completely dispelled from your mind. No longer will insults, criticism, and harsh language emerge from your lips. Instead, I will fill your mouth with messages of praise and words overflowing with creative power to heal, restore, and impart freedom to all who hear your voice. You have never walked alone through this life, though at times you felt forsaken. Countless times I have spoken to you, wooing you with whispers of love, all to awaken confidence that with me as your guide no obstacle can overpower you, no battle defeat you, as your faith is strengthened by trusting me through dark valleys of uncertainty. You will discover wellsprings of renewal gushing up from within. And yes, you will touch the hem of my garment and behold miracles unleashed through your life beyond anything you dare imagine possible. For I see and value you as far stronger and bolder than even you perceive yourself to be. I have destined you for greatness in the kingdom of heaven. Receive this by faith. The seeds of possibility I plant today, though small in appearance, will grow into a towering tree providing shelter and shade to multitudes. As you learn to surrender control more and more into my hands of grace, relinquishing your tightly held plans, you will witness me moving mountains and shifting the very course of history itself to shower favor upon your life. So cease your anxious striving and fretful worrying over tomorrow. Leave it in my hands. I rule the future, so abide in me and my peace will be your guard. Concerns beyond your control may loom on the horizon, but refuse to let imagined troubles steal your rest. You deal only with today, leaving unknown eventualities with me until I deem them relevant for your attention. Right now, your charge is simply this. Meet the challenges and battles today with calm confidence, secure in the knowledge that I will never fail to empower you at the needed moment. My beloved child, Hearken to my voice. I am the one true God who formed you and knows you better than you know yourself. Since before time began, I set my affection upon you, designing you in my image to be my treasured possession. When darkness enters your mind, remember it is only a passing storm cloud. My light ever shines upon you. Trials will come to strengthen your character as flames forge fine steel. Meet them with courage and cling to me, your shelter in life's storms. I will never abandon you. My angels encamp around those who revere me as a mighty army guarding a king. Call and they will bear you up, lest your foot strike a stone. As a sculptor envisions the finished statue, latent in crude stone, I see the person you shall become, though currently imperfect. Let not small setbacks dishearten you, for my hand guides your life toward greatness. Concern yourself less with what others think. I know you and love you as none other can. The world promotes fleeting trifles and crowns kings of vain glory. Ignore such and fix your gaze upon richer treasures stored for you in my kingdom. Fame fades like morning mist. Wealth takes wings as an eagle toward heaven. But my rewards for faithful souls endure forever. Why muddy your garments pursuing earthly prizes when celestial robes of righteousness await all who love and trust me? Stadiums may not echo with cheers for your name, but hear heaven's chorus when one repentant soul finds salvation. 
that everlasting trophy outshines temporary tinsel. Refuse to judge your worth by the flawed measuring sticks of this realm. I determine your value, and it immeasurably exceeds rubies or rivers of oil. You are made in my image, my one-of-a-kind original masterpiece. Even if diamond mines were yours and endless wealth flowed into your coffers like the sea, it could not purchase your true worth to me. When all other lights go out and the cold void of space yawns before you, remember you can always come home. I keep the porch light on and will welcome you with open arms. My smile outshines newborn galaxies, and my laughter rings like infinite chiming bells. If Earth despises you, heaven celebrates you. If people reject you, angels rally to you. If darkness scowls, dawn smiles. Sorrow and sighing will one day flee forever, never to return, when I transform this flawed world into a perfect paradise. Until then, weather the storms. I send them to test foundations and reveal what lies hidden in hearts. Build upon me the one sure, unshakable foundation, and you will withstand anything. My love undergirds those grounded in me when floods surge and winds batter. Look beyond the present furor to behold a placid sea and cloudless sky. Child, I know right now you face raging squalls, but hear my voice gently whispering, Peace, be still. Though thunder yet rumbles in the distance, already I have commanded the storm to cease. Soon silence will fall, and all will be calm again. Fret not that others misunderstand you and cause you grief. The world rejected and despised me, too. If self-righteous scoffers scorn you, are you greater than I, that you should escape their scorn? Be glad, not sad. Reproaches intended to wound may sting initially, but for those allied with me they transmute into badges of honor. My servant, keep your chin high, whatever slings and arrows hostile forces hurl at you. Duck to let them pass overhead, then press on undaunted. No weapon formed against you can ultimately prosper when I shield you. My angel's wings make an impenetrable umbrella. Stand beneath them, and not one arrow's flick will touch you. Raise your head high, beloved one, and be not ashamed. No earthly power prevails against those I defend with my heavenly hosts. You shall pass through this fire unscathed, as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did long ago. The Son of Righteousness arises with healing in his wings. When life grows darker till all seems hopeless, remember hope shines brightest in the darkest night. A long road may lie before you with no end visible, but I guide your steps. Take them one at a time, trusting me to choose each inch of the path. Tomorrow's grace suffices, not for today. Each day I rain fresh mana. Gather only enough for the present. Do not worry about the future or hoard in barns. My storehouses brim with blessings for seasons yet unseen. Some friends may walk a ways with you, then bid farewell when your path diverges from theirs. Let them go with a warm embrace instead of harsh words. All journeys differ, judge not the routes others take. Always leave doors open for future friendship. New companions will join you, sent by me to refresh your spirit. Do not look back, but welcome those I add along your onward way. The stream of fellow sojourners sharing your path is ever-changing. But I have ordained since ancient times those who walk with you now in this leg of your sojourn. Cherish our friendship, too. Do not neglect meeting with me in prayer and steep your mind regularly in my word. Carve out quiet spaces in noisy days for us to converse. Seek me first every morning to align your will with mine, so you may walk in step with me throughout the day. I have much to speak to you in the silences. Listen. My child, do not recoil because my words discomfit your flesh. They must for I see what you cannot, all that obstructs your vision of my glory. I love you enough to prune and shape you even against the grain of your natural tendencies. Trust me to know what must be removed so you can grow straight and strong. 
will clay say to the potter, No, reshape me not. Far less should my servant presume to instruct the master in his craft. I formed your innermost being and know how to skillfully apply each tool. Do not resist me, but yield softly to the potter's hand even when my knife cuts deep. Soon you will understand and thank me for the beauty taking shape in you. Beloved, many claim to speak for me, yet mingle errors with my truth. Test all you hear, even these words, against my flawless standard. Let scripture refine them as fire purifies metal. Hold fast to what aligns with me and discard the dross, so my pure word alone takes shape in your heart. I am authoring your story, my child. The pages already written tell of my love lavished on you, my nurture and discipline to guide your growth. Yes, some chapters recount missteps and tears, where you stumbled by disregarding my words. Yet consider how with my gentle correction, fresh mercies and wisdom to avoid future falls, you learned from those mistakes. Shall I not continue writing? The master writer never abandons his unfinished masterwork. The story is unfinished, its conclusion still unwritten. Heaven's unchecked applause, not fickle fame's fleeting kudos, await all who play their role well in my unfolding epic through history. Act your assigned part with passion, leaning always on me when uncertain how to proceed. I prompt you through my spirit, when lines you must speak come due. I am redeeming your past, child, to open your future path where treasures yet unseen await discovery. My glory shall exalt you in due time. Grace sufficient for each scene infuses you. Some chapters hold trials requiring perseverance and trust in my goodness despite appearances. Later you will grasp why they were essential. For now endure them courageously, upheld by my hand. I will never abandon my story mid-sentence. You fear the road ahead disappears into gloom, yet I illuminate each forward step. Tomorrow's provision suffices not for today. Sufficient is the grace dispensed to meet present needs. As mana sustained my people in the wilderness day by day, my daily bread nourishes you on your journey to the promised land, where milk and honey ever flow. That distant horizon glows imperceptibly brighter with each step you take. Keep walking. Every hero is transformed by tests passed through faith in the author's providence. Your transformation will then come to perfect completion. Well done, my faithful one. Enter now your master's inexplicable peace and rest from every labor. The full meaning of your unique role in my epic will grow clearer in time. Sufficient for today is knowing you are dearly loved and walk the path I chose for you from the first. I will never forsake you. Now lift up your head, beloved, and press on trusting me. My beloved child, do not be troubled. Listen to my voice each day. Come sit with me and delight in this precious time together. I do not wish you to be disturbed or afraid. When you are calm and still, your splendor shines through. Your thoughts flow clearly. Your words hold meaning, and your actions align with your faith when you abide in me. Your despair melts away, and the anxiety that consumed you is banished for good. In my book I have recorded all your emotions, and I have seen the outcome of your prayers. When distress gripped you, you knelt before me and I came to your rescue. Depression no longer has claim over you. You felt strengthened, got up, and continued on the path. When sorrow returned another day and you came back to my feet, anguish spilling over like a cup filled too full. Your prayer was nearly drowned in your tears, your despondency so heavy that your lips could not form the words, but I know your soul. I brought healing and restored your joy. You kept fighting bravely. You faced giants without fear, and here you stand in my presence again. Ask what you will of me. I will grant it. From your innermost being flows a wellspring of life. Your thoughts are untainted and all you need has already been given. Have courage and stand firm. 
May the very ground beneath your feet tremble, striking awe and dread into the hearts of your enemies. The clamor within will be calmed by my mighty hand. Even now, blessings rain upon you and your troubles and discouragements will vanish. When you need encouragement, I will speak it. If weariness overtakes you, come sit with me, burdened and spent. You need this love that brings rest. Pause for a few moments in the quiet, listen to the whisper of the wind. Do not speak just yet. Let the restless stirrings of your soul grow still. The onslaught of your own thoughts assails you. Take my hand. Close your eyes now. Be still and trust me. Even if today it feels as though armies of despair have surrounded and pierced you, do not be afraid. Do not lose heart. These are but fleeting shadows that must flee at the sound of my voice. Even as you listen, healing balm rises up within to make you whole, body, soul, and spirit mended. As you commune with me day by day, you will feel an ever-increasing joy brimming from the inside out. Streams of abundant life flow freely from you. None on this earth can give the peace and fulfillment you seek. Entrust your heart only to me. Do not repeat past mistakes by handing over parts of yourself to others thinking they will satisfy. You were created for me. I love you. I am faithful to you and cannot withhold love or life from you because you have given yourself fully to follow me. Serve me, obey me, and live for me. I will provide all you need. Do not be anxious. I know your longings and will meet them. Relief from debt, freedom from habits that destroy, a companion to walk with you. Tell me again, you have unshakable confidence in me. Vow here and now that I will retain highest place in your heart. Declare your love for me this moment and let my joy overwhelm you. Even now, in realms seen and unseen, miracles are unfolding on your behalf. New acquaintances, open doors of favor, circumstances that feel difficult, yet will soon reveal blessing. Peace in your home, provision, healing. Above all, my love, a treasure that outshines everything else you could possibly desire or acquire on this earth. You possess my delight, my affection, my pleasure, rewards that last for eternity. I delighted in you even when you were far from me. I kept on loving you as you returned home. If lies ever taunt you, that I rage against you or distance myself because of your failures, do not believe them. Your sins do not repel or frighten me. I will never cast you off or forsake you, beloved one. Time after time you have come to me with a sincerely repentant heart, speaking truth, allowing my light to expose where you lost your way. I know you love me. When you stumble, I understand how and why it happened. Your honesty touches me profoundly. I cherish your heart, so genuine, unaffected, and open before me. Even now, Miraculous transformations are occurring around the globe. Key connections, opportunities beyond imagination, situations that appear inconvenient yet will soon unveil blessing, favor for your family, financial relief, revelations of my purpose that change everything. The most splendid gift of all is already yours, my unwavering, unconditional love and delight. Tell me you believe with all that is within you that I am intimately involved in every aspect of your life. Gently, tenderly, lovingly, I hold you close. My protective presence surrounds you, shielding you from evil. I fully understand what you face, how heavy your burdens, how demanding the tasks before you. I see, I know. Your efforts do not go unnoticed. You are seen, known, cherished, my beloved child, I speak these words to you from the depths of eternity, for I am the Alpha and the Omega. Since before time began, I set my affections upon you, for you are fearfully and wonderfully made. When darkness enshrouded the void and creation slumbered, I already saw you in my mind's eye. I beheld your radiance, 
the goodness I would fashion within you, and was filled with joy. I delighted in you before you took your first breath. My child, you have endured many tribulations, yet my spirit remains with you. When anguish grips your heart, do not despair, for I shall never forsake you. You may feel forsaken in your hour of need, as though your prayers echo unheard across a yawning gulf. Yet even in your darkest night my light shall shine upon you. I will infuse you with strength from on high, that you may weather the fiercest storms. The tempests that assail you cannot withstand the bulwarks of my grace. Floodwaters may rise to unimaginable heights, yet I will bear you up on eagles' wings. You shall not drown beneath tumultuous waves, for I hold you fast in the shelter of my hands. Beloved, when you walk through fires of affliction, the scent of smoke shall not cling to your raiment. No flame shall set upon you, for I quench the smoldering embers with gentle dew. The searing tongues that encircle you on every side recoil at my approach. I bid them, Touch not my anointed one, do no harm to the apple of my eye. In stillness my voice whispers, Come to me when weariness drapes your shoulders like a cloak. Unburden yourself before my throne of mercy. Lay bare your brokenness, and I will make you whole. The evils that haunt you shrink from the light of my presence. Persevere in seeking me through prayer and humble supplication, that you may find rest beneath these sheltering wings. My child, I formed your innermost parts. I knit you together with divine skill and purpose. You emerged from the womb as a tapestry of many colors, fearfully and wonderfully made. I call you by name, for you are mine. I named you where I placed you in your mother's womb, and the name I whispered in that secret place shall remain your own in eternity. You are a display of my craftsmanship, the pinnacle of my creation. Within you I have kindled the light of my glory, that men may see your good works and glorify me. Yet the enemy schemes to snuff out that radiance, to dim the luminance of your soul and draw a veil of gloom about you. His minions circle you like ravenous wolves, seeking to rend and devour. But greater am I who resides within you. The darkness shall not overcome the light that blazes from your spirit. No weapon formed against you can prosper. My guardian angels encamp around you and bear you up, lest you strike your foot upon a stone. You shall march from victory to victory with garlands of triumph gracing your brow. When you pass through raging waters, my staff and rod shall shield you from harm. The undertow cannot wrest you from my grasp. Its pull is impotent next to the might of my strong right hand. The crests that tower high above you collapse into foam at my decree. Thus far and no more. The tempest spends its fury and disperses like fleece blown upon the wind. In its wake comes a profound stillness, and you find yourself on solid rock once more upheld by my hands. From this vantage I will show you wondrous things beyond the furthest sea. New horizons will unfold before you as you gain the summit of each arduous climb. The breathtaking panorama that greets you then shall eclipse all memory of storms now past. Lift up your eyes, my beloved. Take heart and fear no evil. The forces allied against you retreat into darkness at first light of dawn. The new day heralds glad tiding upon its wings. Liberation is imminent. As the heaviness of night takes flight, so too shall your sorrows. The gloom that shrouds your spirit will lift, giving way to cloudless skies. You shall bask beneath heavens resplendent and serene. Hardship and heartache will fade into distant memory as my restoration washes over you in healing waves. Like rain upon thirsty ground, my spirit will penetrate and renew parched places within your soul. Strength will course through your veins as the vitality of my living water mingles with your blood. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace as one who dreams. All creation will rejoice over you. Mountains and hillsides will break forth into song. Forests will clap their hands in ovation. 
You are the crown jewel of my heart, a priceless treasure I safeguard with eternal vigilance. Never doubt that I hold you firmly anchored in my unwavering grip. You will not slip through these almighty fingers. My everlasting arms shall not grow faint or weary. They will uphold and sustain you to the end. I will never forget, neglect, or abandon that which I have taken pains to create and preserve. My purposes for you tower higher than the heavens, run deeper than the sea, span broader than horizons edged by farthest starlight. The plans I have prepared for you transcend human comprehension, yet even now they begin materializing before your eyes. Do you perceive their first tender shoots emerging from arid soil? Behold verdant new life springing forth. The seeds I have scattered will yield a bountiful harvest in due season. Until then, nurture the fragile saplings tenderly. Shield them from harsh winds lest their stalks snap before they take root. But soon they shall mature into stately oaks of righteousness that all nations will seek for shelter. Their leaves will neither wither nor fade, but provide bountiful healing for multitudes. Stand watch and witness this unfolding transformation. The landscape now barren will flourish abundantly beyond your wildest imaginings. Beloved child, steep yourself in the promises I have spoken over you this day. May they infuse your soul with boldness to pursue all I have prepared for you, according to the power at work within you, the very same might and majesty that raised Christ Jesus from the dead. Nothing lies beyond the scope of my reach. Heaven's inexhaustible resources stand at the ready to supply your every need. No word of mine shall ring hollow or return void, but magnify my glory as it fulfills its purpose for you unhindered. Therefore, set your face like flint towards the destiny which I ordained before time's first breath. Though forces may arise to oppose you, take courage, for no weapon formed against you can hinder my advancing kingdom. The battle belongs to the Lord, and I shall surely claim the victory. As I cleave the sea to lead you through on dry ground, who can impede your crossing to that fair haven? Forge ahead unfettered and lay claim to every inheritance prepared for you since worlds began.